Today we had the reveal of the Spiritborn class, and I have to say, it looks like a banger. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over the Spiritborn class, a bit of what was discussed in the Diablo 4 live stream. Now, over the up and coming days, more and more content's gonna come. However, this video is just going to cover and summarize the live stream of the Spiritborn reveal. But before we get into those details, I do want to say that a lot of you continue to watch my content, but yet do not subscribe. If you can find it in your heart to subscribe, I would really appreciate the support of my content. Okay, let's get into the juicy details of our new class in Diablo 4 coming in the Vessel of Hatred, the Spiritborn. An adaptive apex predator hailing from the jungles of Nahatu will soon join the fight against darkness. The Spiritborn is an entirely new class in the Diablo series that calls upon the unique strengths of Jaguar, Gorilla, Eagle, and Centipede Spirit Guardians to overcome any nightmare burning hells throw their way. The Spiritborn class will be arriving on October 8th as part of the Vessel of Hatred expansion. Spiritborn are versatile warriors who fuse devastating three-hit combo attacks and acrobatic fluidity into a potent display of their ferocity. They are masters of hand-to-hand -hand combat, doiling out lethality at close range through the ability to extend their wrath with the aid of spirit energy and their favorite demon-slaying implement, the glaive. Their physical prowess allows them to block or dodge incoming strikes, absorbing this power for themselves or redirecting it back at their aggressors. The Spirit Board's origin, relationship with the Spirit Guardians, class mechanic, and more can be discovered in the Vessel of Hatred. Spirit Guardians represent the connection between humans and the natural world they live in. The warrior sees her strength in the gorilla. The hunter sees his speed in the jaguar. The strategist sees their vigil in the eagle. And the apothecary sees her practice and the centipede and the decay it devours. In times of need, the spirit born will call upon the most suitable guardian, championing their prowess. It is this adaptability coupled with their devotion to the guardians that make the spirit born the agile and flexible jungle warriors they are. With the spirit born comes a new skill tag, incarnate. While equipped, the spirit born embodies the traits of the guardian associated with the incarnated skill, providing you with a passive bonus. When activated, you take on the guardian's full strength. A taste of the skills you can use as a spirit born can be found in these videos, including the ultimate skill for each spirit guardian. The Jaguar is relentless and violent, attacking repeatedly with blinding speed and fury constantly ramping up the lethality and keeping its fire burning in between skills. The embodiment of resilience and retaliation, the gorilla not only shrugs off incoming damage, but ensures the reprisals are brutal, swift, and final. This guardian embodies pure dominance and efficient resolution to protect its own at all costs. The eagle is lethal and attacks its prey with pinpoint precision. Its movement speed and amplified evade combined with extendable mind-ranged attacks come together to deliver a concentrated burst of pain upon your foes. Draining the strength of foes to sustain itself, the centipede is a manifestation of the inescapable cycle of death. Wield debilitating poison damage and disruptive crowd control to reduce any opposition to a lifeless husk. Now, during the, the Spiritborn reveal, it was revealed that at level 15, as a Spiritborn, you will unlock the Spiritborn quest, and the Spiritborn will have to seek out Tarka, a Spiritborn emissary in Gaykal. Uh, together, you'll embark on a quest for your destiny, becoming more attuned to the ways of the Spirit Guardians, Completing the Sacred Hunt quest unlocks the Spirit Hall, the Spirit Born class mechanic. And we were shown this live in the reveal that the Spirit Hall is a connection to the Spirit Guardians. And you get to select one of the four Guardian Spirits I just talked about. And doing so will grant you a special bonus 
but it also adds the spirit skill tag to your skills, allowing its spirit-based bonuses to carry to each of your skills. At level 30, you can choose a secondary bonus from the same guardian or a different one. Now, during the live stream, the devs mentioned a lot of things, one of them being that they're really looking forward to the player base, really personalizing their experience with Spiritborn and in the sense that you can mix and match the, the spirit guardians of your choice. So they said they're looking forward to people personalizing their spirit board. Um, so this spirit hall is a way or is going to be the way for us players to be able to customize our spirit board. The other thing that came out of the live stream revealed today was the fact that the spirit board is going to only have two weapon types and is going to be able to only wield two handed weapons. Now I have to say the live stream reveal what an atmosphere they uh, shot this live stream live in the Microsoft studios. And I have to say that screen behind Pez radar and the other devs of Diablo four was unbelievable. When they were talking about each one of the four spirit guardians, they had the image in the background, just epic, epic moments in the live stream. Really cool to see the massive spirit guardians behind them. It was really cool. They showed us a lot of gameplay, which I've also demonstrated here in this video. So looks really cool. Now I have to say, there was a lot of discussion. Actually, it was, the I think, one of the first questions in the Q&A. And uh, I had a lot of people coming up to me asking me about, you know, what my thoughts were about why they didn't choose the Paladin to introduce into their very first new class into Diablo 4. And I know a lot of people have an opinion on this, but I just want to say this. Uh, I applaud uh blizzard for doing it like this this is a new region it's a jungle theme and i'm referring to the vessel of hatred the new expansion coming later on this year and that's when they're going to introduce a new class and i think their decision to go with a completely new design and class to fit the environment of the vessel of hatred and the theme of the vessel of hatred the jungle theme and the the creation of the spirit born i think was a good decision i actually support this whole new philosophy that they want to make a brand new class they didn't want to dip into the well of something that's we've already seen and i also believe relax everyone that's asking for a paladin i think eventually it's going to come in the game anyway um i just think because it's a new environment jungle theme this makes 100% complete sense. Anyway, let me know what you think and what your thoughts are. It was a very, very cool live stream reveal. This is going to be by far the fastest class in Diablo 4. It looks like it. Everything they showed us, all the skills, all the spirit guardians, all fast and devastating. This is, and they said it themselves, this is going to be the fastest class in Diablo 4 once it's there. So let me know what your thoughts were on the reveal. What do you think about the Spirit Born? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know. I would love to hear it. Um, I did not want to get into any of the content from the live stream demonstrations of the skill. They're going to be out there from the content creators that did the live stream. So I don't want to double dip into their content. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the reveal, just in case you didn't have a chance to watch it. And we're going to look forward to more information with the Vessel of Hatred. And we, I, should, I would suspect that in the upcoming weeks prior to Season 5 launching, we're actually going to get a Season 5 live stream or campfire chat, whatever they call it. Um, so we're going to be looking forward to that. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on the new class for Diablo 4 and the Vessel of Hatred, the Spirit of Born. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. 
Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.